everyone and welcome back to another episode of Louis Garage. Now this is going to be a really really special episode because I've got some access to the new Lotus Amira. Now this is uh, one of the earlier prototypes that Jensen Button actually drove on track. You might have actually seen this car in some of the photos and uh, press videos as well and it looks just amazing. I mean look at the fit and finish and the color. This is the Seneca blue color with the diamond cut uh, wheels and it is just incredible it really really shines in the light so have a look around we're going to look at the car first and then uh, we're going to take it for a drive today so that's going to be pretty amazing being able to drive a brand new lotus amira I think they've just done a fantastic job. I mean, considering this is a pretty early prototype as well, um, the fit and finish and the panels, they just look really incredible. I think the design is really nice as well because it definitely looks like a supercar, um, but it's like a sports car price. So you're getting the best of both worlds, really. And this is actually the very, very last internal combustion engine uh, Lotus. Uh, so you've got the uh, Lotus V6 in there. It's got a manual transmission So it's one of the last cars that also features uh, a manual uh, So yeah, it's definitely a good chance to, to get into one of these and get into some Lotus ownership as well I mean just look at some of the details here the headlights as well. That looks amazing It looks so much better than um, you know some of the older Lotuses. This is a, a big step up above um, for Lotus in general All right, so we're gonna jump in uh, the new door handles as well. Check this out. Wow, look at that. You've never seen that before on a Lotus before, right? All right, so let's uh, have a look at the interior. Uh, we've got a digital display and we've actually got a Android um, digital entertainment system or infotainment system as well. Um, so it's all bang up to date and you've still got that awesome manual transmission. Uh, you've still got like a really, really nice, uh, comfortable, uh, easy to drive uh, sports interior uh, but yeah like I said the fit and finish is just incredible I mean look at the stitching it's all absolutely perfect uh, and the materials they use as well so this is Alcantara along with some leather and the door handles I mean look at the the, the size of that you know that's a lot meatier and a lot better than the previous versions we've even got electric uh, mirrors so that's amazing that I think that's a first for a Lotus yeah, it just looks incredible. And then getting in and out as well, it's just so much easier. Step in and you're in the car. So yeah, uh, it's even got memory seats. Um, this is the launch edition. So uh, this has uh, got 12 way adjustable electric seats. And then you've got this really, really awesome jet fighter style um, start stop button for the engine. It's pretty cool. And you've still got the manual transmission. Now this is obviously a left-hand drive uh, and uh, <laughs> this is actually going to be my first time driving a left-hand drive uh, manual car. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that all it goes okay. Um, but yeah, I'm really really excited to be able to bring you this point of view video showing you uh, what a Lotus Amira looks like and how it drives. Alright everyone, we're going to give this car a bit of a start and then we're going to listen to the engine. So clutch in. And then uh, we just need to press this fighter jet style button. Nice. And then I'm going to change it over to track mode. Oh, whoa, geez. Okay. Wow. Really good induction noise and definitely some pops and crackles there. Far out. All right, and uh, now we're going to take it out for a drive, which will be interesting. All right, guys, so we're going to go for a bit of a drive in the new Amira. It's got a reversing camera, which is pretty awesome. Good. All right, thanks, Chris. This might be one of the very first POV videos of driving in a mirror, to be honest. And we've got Android Auto working as well, which is pretty amazing on the prototype car.
still getting used to the pedal positions because the pedal position is a little bit different. And obviously getting used to a, a, a left-hand drive manual car as well. But so far it feels really amazing. I like the steering wheel. Um, it's got uh, uh, hydraulic power steering, uh, but it's, it's really, really dialed back. So you can really feel the, the car. Um, it's got decent weight to it as well. But when I was pulling away, um, I was actually able to uh, steer the car really easily without really having to use a lot of effort as well. Oh, loving the pops and bangs. I think this car will get quite a few looks from other people, right? <laughs> Definitely. I don't think there's anything else on the road that looks even remotely similar to this. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the pedals a little bit, that's all. But I think you get used to it pretty quick, actually. Let's turn off the aircon. Thanks. Yeah, I really like the way it sounds. It's really, really nice. You can hear some burbles and cracks and pops. It sounds like a really, really expensive car, right? Oh, there's a bit of that supercharger wine as well. Lovely. Do a little bit of a pull. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Great sounding car. Yeah, I'm really liking the way it handles. Um, it's really tight. Uh, you can feel that everything is just dialed in. It just, it just feels really comfortable as well. Like it rides over the bumps really beautifully. Um, is this the Comfort or the Sport? Ah, uh, this is Sport. This is the Sport? Really? I'm actually quite surprised that this is the Sport. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually... They, they've always done a, such a nice ride to these cars. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. actually. It rides really well. And the faster you go, it actually... I mean, I'm not, it's not a suggestion. But the faster <laughs> you go, it's actually really nice. Mm. Up, at, up at pace, you'll be blown yeah. away by it just kind of skips over the bumps right exactly and it just starts to get this lovely kind of movement upon it and you can really get along which is what the spree was famous for yeah oops sorry left hand drive it's <laughs> good wait for this because it's a big traffic out of the right yeah gotcha Oh, that was a nice pop there. <laughs> Far out. Oops. Jeez, that's why they get such a bad name. Yeah, I know. Big Utes, eh? <laughs> Gotta watch out for those guys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 there we go. Gave him a bit of welly. <laughs> It's a beautiful uh, winter afternoon here in Auckland. Luckily the weather is actually really good today as well. It's been fantastic.
No problems. Uh, that overrun sound, <laughs> it's just crazy, Chris. It's good, huh? Yeah. Just the right amount, it's not... Yeah, it's not too loud, yeah. Yeah. Keep them with the engine. It's not too antisocial. Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't normally mind that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, it feels amazing, actually. It, it feels like a really well looked after, you know, really well sorted car. It's been designed really well. I like the steering wheel, actually. Um, like, you can really get used to the size of the steering wheel. Yep. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit careful. Mm -hmm. nice. Straight inside. Because if you stop it'll activate kill hold. Oh yep. Sweet. Am I good? Sweet. Have we has it got front um yep. sensors as well? Yep. Awesome. Alright everyone, so I don't know who was more nervous, either Chris or me, uh, that's my first time driving like a prototype car, uh, it's one of the um, only Lotus and mirrors in the whole world, um, so yeah I was a little bit nervous and the fact that it was also left hand drive, um, but man what a car, it feels amazing actually, like honestly you don't really feel like it's um, a little bit heavier than the Exige, uh, it feels just as nimble, it feels really nice in the steering wheel, it, you know darts around quite well, I mean I only had a quick test drive, but certainly it definitely has that you know lotus credential and lotus dna built in um, and also having like a really nice interior and the exterior as well like everyone was looking at us uh, and you know it's just it just looks like such a different car compared to everything else on the road um, so it's definitely like such a cool car and just the sound it makes as well like i think this actually sounds better than my exige to be honest um, so yeah it's just the induction noise the exhaust noise um, it's just it's it's really amazing all right everyone so that was a really quick tour over the lotus amira hopefully that was really interesting and you can actually see what the car is like to drive as well as what it looks like on the outside and on the inside um, so we're just going to have a quick look around the car again i just love the look of this thing especially in this lovely blue color um, and yeah we'll uh, hopefully be able to see the production version of this car soon as well uh, i think uh, they're going to be delivered here to new zealand a little bit later on this year uh, but for now it is goodbye to the lotus amira See you soon, everyone.